going. Be quite a minute. Oh dear. Yeah, what's wrong? The master's got Sarah. <gasps> the master's got Sarah. Yes, I'm just trying to track him down now. The TARDIS is not very happy, you see. That's why she's shaking. Oh, I always wondered why. Right then, wait a minute. Let me try and lock courses with the master's TARDIS now. Hmm. Very suspicious. Right then. Ah, I found him. Give back Sarah now. <laughs> No, Doctor, you're not having your precious companion back again, I'm afraid. She's mine now. <laughs> I'm sorry, Doctor, your companion's mine. Doctor, please rescue me. Please, I'm in so much trouble. Doctor, rescue me. Uh, please let me go. No, you'll be silent. You're not going anywhere. Please. I know what to do. Ugh. Right then, if you don't let me go, I'll press this button. What are you on about? Go on, Sarah, press it. At least it will send the master into oblivion for once. What? Come back here at once. No, if you come any further, I'll press the button. And that's a promise. Go on, Sarah, knock his block off. Hooray, Doctor! She's actually doing something useful for once. Yes, but it can be a bit dangerous, you know. If she presses that button, it'll not just be her who gets obliterated, it'll also be the master. What's the problem? I've got to get Sarah off, because if she presses it, she'll be obliterated too. Oh, what a kifuffle. Yes, um, let me just think. Ah, Time Lord Transmat Beam. Press that blue button over there. This one? Yep. Now! It's happening. Where are you going? Bye bye! No, Doctor. Right then, that's it. I'm going to send your TARDIS into a time warp. <laughs> Three, two, one, now! So what's happening? I don't know, I can't get to the controls. Oh my goodness me, whatever the master's doing could break the TARDIS doing this. Oh wait a minute, let me try and get to the controls. Oh, oh my god, that can't be. He's sending us into a time warp. What does that mean, Doctor? Oh, that means we're in serious trouble because the TARDIS doesn't know where we're going. We don't know where we're going either. <laughs> I'm sorry, my dear Doctor. It's time for you to die. So I've sent you into a small time warp system. Bye-bye, Doctor. Stop this! Hold on tight, we're going to be sent into oblivion now! Help! Don't worry, I'll try and do an emergency landing. Landing now! Not a young woman, Doctor, and this sort of stuff is not for me, thank you very much. Well, how do you think I feel? I'm about three times your age. Ow. Oh, Sarah, can you open the doors? Uh, all right, Doctor. Opening doors now. Oh, there's one problem, though. What's that, Doctor? The TARDIS doesn't know where we are. And I can't seem to track any point in time where we've landed. So what does that mean? I haven't a blinking clue where on earth we are, who's outside, what planet, what the atmosphere's like at all. Oh dear, Doctor. Yes, oh dear indeed. Well anyway, come on. Go outside. Sarah's already out there. Alright, tell her to be careful. I will. Yoo-hoo! Sarah! Yes. The doctor told me that you have to be very, very careful because you don't know what's out here. Well, I already know what's out here. Look. What, Sarah? Look, it's someone's initials above the door. J.S. Ooh, I wonder who's called J.S. What a funny name. Well, I know who it is automatically. 
to see railway track a chimney JS it's George Stevenson Ooh! Ooh, can't wait to meet him should we go inside no Sarah we have to wait for the doctor I'm afraid I'll just go and tell him all right doctor yes Sarah knows who it is. It's George Stevenson. Can you come out, please? We want to have a look round. All right, I'm coming. He's coming, Sarah. Yes. Oh, my giddy armour. You're quite right. It is George Stevenson. I've been here before. This is his workshop. I wonder how he's getting on with the rocket. Oh, you mean he's building a rocket? No, not that sort of rocket. A train called Rocket. Ooh! Well, Doctor, I'm not hanging around. I'm going to have a look in, Sarah. Oh, so am I, Doctor. I may be old, but I've got quite shifty legs. Oh, I better follow them. <laughs> well, Doctor... I see that you're here. <laughs> Follow the railway track and this see where I end up. <laughs> Hello, is there anybody here? Hello. You anybody here? George, are you here? George Stevenson, are you here? Hello, George. You're out there, Doctor. It's been such a long time since we last met. How's um, the rocket getting on them? Oh, the rocket train. That's getting on smashing, you know. It only cost me 18 and 4 pence. I like to save me money, you know. Yes, I do know. So, how's it been since I last saw you? Well, Doctor, you've definitely changed a lot since I last saw you. Yes, I do know that. Well, then, would you like to see my masterpiece? Um, yeah, go on then. All right, then. Just flick the switch and watch this. Ready? Go. There. There's my masterpiece. Doctor, is that a railway train? Yes, sir, you got that one right. Ooh! Do you know, my great-grandmother used to say she can remember the day when she first saw one of these. She says it was a thundering beast running through the forest at a hundred miles an hour. Well, I doubt that. It only goes 24 miles an hour. I don't think it'll make a hundred. You know, that's a bit fast, you know. Oh, I know, but it's amazing. I'm standing here looking at the very first passenger steam locomotive in the entire world. Think of the privilege, Sarah. Yes, I've never seen one so this close up before. Well, it's amazing. Are there any problems with it, George? Oh, no, 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 Doctor. It's going quite well, you know. I finally... Well, I finally worked out, you know, the piston rods need a bit enlarging, but I've done that. And I can steam it up this afternoon. Would you like to see it? Oh, yes, please, George. All right, then. I'll just go and start to steam her up, then. I won't be long. Right, then. Oh, I better put the water pumps on. You need some water. There. Right then, she should start steaming up any minute now. I'll just sit back and watch, as I usually do. Absolutely amazing, Sarah. The first steam locomotive, and we've been witness to see its first run, too. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> ah, steam boiler. It's only a bit of tampering I should do, I think. See how George copes... But I put too much pressure in. Oh, blimey, Doctor. What? The steam pressure, it's rocketing. I can't control it. Bloody hell. My goodness. 
What does that mean, Doctor? The steam pressure? If it explodes, it can go off like a bomb. Oh my goodness me. Oh. Oh, my laughs work. It's not working, no. Don't worry. I'll see what the cause of the problem is. You stay there. <laughs> Stop. Doctor. Yes, me. Well then, Doctor. You see, I'm going to destroy the steam locomotive now. No, you're not. <laughs> How can you stop me, my dear Doctor? Hmm? I can stop you with something very, very, very simple indeed. What? A fight. <laughs> I fight I'd win clean out, Doctor. You're of a sort to have fights, are you? Well, I could certainly try. Come with me. If you're not frightened, I'm never frightened, Doctor. Come on. <laughs> it's the master! What's he doing here? Ooh, what's he doing here? Right then, we're going to sort this out once and for all. Get your fists up. And Doctor, I'm perfectly ready for a good fight. So am I. You think you can win with your fists like that? <laughs> I certainly can. Come on then. Alright then, Doctor. Come on then. Come on, I'm ready to fight you, Doctor. I was an ace champion boxer in 1894. Oh, were you, my dear? You don't look like much of one. Need a bit of warming up, that's all. Right then. I'm ready, Doctor. Then I never use my fists. Fists. One, two, three. Ooh! That was right in me good bits. Sorted out. Well done, Doctor. Oh, yes, well done, Doctor. You've beaten him once and for all. I'll be back, Doctor. Mark my words, I'll be back one day and I'll destroy you. Yes, I can't wait to see you next time. Maybe it'll be with the Time Lords. Sorry, George. It's all right, Doctor. It's working now. Look, ready? Can I go on the cart, please? Yes, all right. We'll just lay down and be very, very careful. Oh, ready? Wee! Be careful! Oh yes, come on, we better go after her in case she loses her way! Oh dear! Quickly, George! I'm coming, Doctor! Oh! I'll bring my clock to! Bye, Doctor! Doctor, do you think we, we've beaten them outside? Yes, I think so. Right, ready to watch the train come in? George, you there? Oh, yes, Doctor, I just brought my clock with me. Why on earth you brought a clock? Because I like to, I like to check up on the time. All right, here they come. Doctor, that was so exciting. Can I go again? It was like a roller coaster. I went wee everywhere. Oh, I hope you didn't. We're coming to you two back in the TARDIS. All right, all right. Oh, I must lose some weight off the back side. So should I. Fire go, Doctor. I've got one thing to sell you. You can have the clock. The clock? Thank you, George. It's all right. I'll put it in the TARDIS. How on earth did it float? My mind did it. One last thing, George. Come here. Now, this won't hurt, but just look at this in your mind. My goodness, Doctor, what is it? What is it, Doctor? Is it a demon? What is it, Doctor? That is a steam locomotive. That's what your steam locomotive will end up in 50 years' time. 
You will in, you will start the industrial revolution, George. Start the new age. Mechanical steam locomotives, that's what it is. George, until next time. Goodbye, Doctor. Goodbye. Doctor, where are you? Oh well. I love you, my baby. I love you.